Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Derek here with Moist Sauce Productions and today we are going to an autocross event which is hosted by BMW. So it's the BMW Ultimate Driving Experience. So I'm not entirely sure what car I'll be driving but it won't be the Focus ST. It'll probably be some automatic cars that they have, maybe a 4 series or 3 series or 5 series that they have prepared. But uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to drive a manual but we'll see what this is all about and I'll let you know if it's worth the trip or worth you know waking up early in the morning or worth uh, going to an event at all. to be driven <laughs> we'll see but there's somebody out there already looks like they're in the next one or next three but we'll see they got a whole building set up too which is kind of cool I think there's an I-8 over there it's like an entire competition here Days teaching racing school, coaching racing, officiate for some race series, and doing programs like this with the manufacturers. So this is literally another day at the office farming. I got a real strong crew here that I can let them introduce themselves very briefly here. Starting off with my butt, my good friend here, Darren, not so young. <laughs> he, he does that to me even though he's two years old. Anyway, it's not the time, it's the mileage. Yeah, really. I got a lot of that. I'm uh, Darren Young, also known as Bird. Yeah, the the uh, hand position of nine and three, you can get around this whole course steering the car like this, with a possible exception of the rear uh, rear corners. So in pit lane, kind of keep the uh, speed down as much as you can because people are flinging doors open and having fun, not paying much attention. Then when you come up here, these big green cones are your starting gate. When you come up here to the starting gate, please stop every time and don't go until I clear you to go because with this much traffic, we're gonna have two, three cars on track at a time. Then once I give you green to go, you're confronted with this big mass of cones out here, right? It's actually pretty simple. The blue and white ones are your perimeter markers. They tell you where the track goes. If you just stay between the white lines, you'll be golden. That'll help you out. The significant cones to pay attention to are these orange guys because they tell you where to place the car. They're laid out in such a manner as to describe the path of least twisting us around the track. That's called the racing line or the fast line. The idea being to minimize turning the steering wheel. Because if you think about it, the less of this we do, the more of that we do, right? So as we creep around the track, it's almost like there's a piece of spring steel bent around touching these cones. So I bring the car in close to this guy. I'm going to leave the wheel turn, let the spring steel or the car, if you will, bow out a bit, but keep the wheel turn so I can set up for the next target cone up here. This cone is pretty critical because you don't want to turn in before you get to it. This is a very sharp corner. You're hard on the brakes. You stay on the brakes as you turn in. Turn your eyes to the right first, then turn the wheel. Always look where you want to go first, otherwise you may as well just close your eyes and turn the steering wheel and hope for the best. Patience on the throttle here. Wait until you get the car aimed where you want to go and then you can really hammer it. So just add it in gradually. Real quick little right left S through here. This is the only cone you don't get next to. You want to break in the middle of the lane and that's your turn in point. Again, you're looking around the corner trying to spot that cone up there. Give it some juice coming through. This is the fastest part of the track. Make sure you get it over here on the left, otherwise you'll plow down these guys. Then hard brakes, and the trick here is to stay on the brake as you turn in. That helps put weight on the front tires, lets them grip. <laughs> and let the car come all the way out to the left. Brake hard, turn it in, and this is kind of a button hook turn. You gotta kind of reach the car around it a little bit. So let's give it a little bit of speed here so you get a feel for how the car flows around the track. 
you're going to brake hard, look around the corner, then release the brake, turn and go, and give it more gas, 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 gas. Hard brakes, wrap it around the corner, patience on the gas here, then un unleash it, let her rip. You're going to brake, 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 eyes right, ease in on the brakes, and then power it out, take it up high, then brakes, hang it high, and let her rip. So let's give it a little bit of a fast lap here so you can get a feel for how the car flows around the track. Patience on the gas, then give it a full blast through here. Hard brakes, wrap it around the corner, and power, 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 bring it in hard to the left. And you can get it going pretty quick through there, probably about 60 something. And then when you come into the pits, get her woed down. It's a no wake zone for you boaters. And now somebody killed the cone. <laughs> That's normal. It happens. All right, and <laughs> go for it. So a little lift, turn in, now power out of it, aim right up there. Remember, brake, wait for it, eyes right, turn sharp. Bring it in, now give it gas, 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 good. Brake hard in the middle, eyes right, wrap it around the corner. Now power it out, make sure you flip the left. And brakes and turn in. You're going to get two laps, guys. Power it out to the outside edge. Brake, look around the corner. You came in a little too low too early. See, the car wants to go that way now. So you gotta kinda of button the hook around that way. Bring it up high. Brake, wait for it. Now eyes right, turn sharp. Start feeding in power and give it full blast. There we go, brake hard. Eyes around the corner, good. That's nice. And look for your pit entry and just power into that. Straight in. There you go, good. That's a good start. A little bit abrupt on the pedals and stuff. Uh, so just try your, you actually have good smooth steering movements, which most people don't do. Remember to key off the corners, uh, the cones in the corners, because you didn't come out wide to this one. Mm -hmm. You came in early on that right turn, and all of a sudden it's like, oh shit, oh shit, you know, <laughs> didn't want to turn in. All right. So as it said in the video, uh, basically we're driving some BMW 540i's and one with rear wheel drive so just one regular 540i and then one with x drive and the pedal on these things and the steering on these things are completely numb so it's it's kind of difficult to modulate the throttle and uh, turn in easily so i'm not going to be able to videotape inside the car but it's pretty interesting uh, I, I'm not a fan, as I mentioned previously, on how these cars drive, but they're more luxury cars anyways, but it's a fun day. Ooh, that's, that's a cone dragger. Ooh, there goes the cone. <laughs> that is aggressive driving right there. <laughs> it's a little difficult to get used to the car, but you get Four practice laps. The steering's very, very dumb. But, yeah, what can you do? Uh, it's basically a competition, so uh, if I think the best driver from our group gets to compete against the rest of the groups, so that's kind of cool. We will see. So they don't have any M cars. Well, they have like a 240M. And I think that's all they really have that's M badged. So there's a 240i that I'm gonna test out, see how it is. There goes the i3, somebody who almost basically ran me over. But hopefully they'll allow me to, I don't know, take pictures and bring my camera along with me. So overall, that was really fun. Um, you get to test and drive, or at least get the opportunity to test and drive a lot of vehicles. I got to drive the 240i, or the sorry, the 230i, and the 340i, as well as the which we call it, the uh, the 540i and the 540 with X Drive. So that's really cool, and those were really fun. The only problem is that the steering was really really numb on all of the cars except the 2 Series and the 2 Series was probably the one car that I would 
want to be driving on the autocross, but we got to drive the 5 Series on the, on the track, which uh, shows why I, I think I got 8th out of, um, I don't know, it was like 20 people, and uh, I think the winners would uh, compete in on the other track uh, to see who would be the ultimate driver of this entire series that they have, so all day. And with that, you can win a trip to their facility and actually um, compete and uh, have an all expenses, all expenses paid trip to California, I believe. And that would be really cool, but I did not win, sadly. Um, sorry, my uh, previous autocross and track days didn't really help me for this, but. And we got a red light. Sucks to be us. But overall, it was a fun day, and I got to see the ins and outs of a lot of cars, like uh, the M2, I got to see the M4, the X6M car, um, the i8, and the i3 as well, which are a bunch of cars that I would have never gotten to sit in if I went to the dealerships, I feel like. Um, they would, you know, pound and prod me because they'd be like oh well you don't have enough money to pay for this car so we don't want to deal with you uh, those all had the eight speed automatic transmission so uh, the ZF speed which uh, the ZF transmission which is really really good I think and I believe that's in the Alpha the Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio as well uh, like I said very very good cars to drive um, except the 5 series I would say the 2 and the 3 series were really really fun and other than that, yeah, definitely a good event, um, especially because it was free. Uh, they had some free food, they give you free stuff as well, and uh, they give you this water bottle too, this all aluminum BMW water bottle that apparently only fits in their, it's a, it's a pretty nice water bottle. You know, it's, it's a free event, so I would definitely recommend going to one. I spent, uh, my session started at 9 a.m. It is now 1 p.m. So I spent a good four hours there um, just taking a look at cars, which is really nice. And you can bring your family, which is what a lot of people actually did too. So yeah, overall, I would say a good thumbs up for that event. And BMW, thanks for hosting the event so close to me. Um, I'm sure other people would love it close to them. And yeah, the program's really nice. Maybe like, uh, one for people who like to drive M cars, maybe, maybe, or, you know, BMW if you'd like to hook me up with a press car, I'm definitely down for that as well. So I think one thing that was interesting about the entire event was putting us to autocross in a 5 Series. Now they had us in the, the X Drive 5 Series as well as the Rear Wheel Drive Series as well. And then when we got the timed events, that was only in the X drive, so all, only in the all wheel drive version. So, honestly, I was <laughs> driving the car like it was my car, which it obviously wasn't. And the steering is n like so numb. And I'm, I'm gonna make tons and tons and heaps of excuses, but basically it just wasn't a very responsive car so I'm trying to drive it basically 10 and 3 the entire way but there's too much give so I can't turn the wheel all the way at 10 and 3 so when we had the these like hairpin turns it was really difficult to keep my hands at 10 and 3 so I just went with it and basically what I should have done is just floored it the entire time because those honestly seemed to be the fastest times. so yeah, I don't know I was hoping that the car would be a little bit more responsive but the throttle pedal was just not responsive so I don't know if it needed to be in sport mode but uh, they weren't really talking to us about changing the modes of the car but yeah overall the car that we were driving seemed to be odd. I think they just selected it because they might just have, or they might just not be selling a lot of those cars, or maybe those were the cars that they just decided and they fit enough people so that you can uh, 
you know, take people back and forth. I'm not sure, but uh, BMW, maybe you should rethink which cars you're autocrossing. I don't know, maybe like, I get that it's free, I get that you want it to be as low cost as possible, but if somebody breaks one of those five series, I think it's more expensive to fix those than it is the two series or the three series. But I understand, you know, transporting people, you can transport them in the three series for sure, but I understand you have to accommodate, you know, very tall people as well, so. Uh, but at the end of the day, you, you had us driving with just one of your drivers, so one of your employees was sitting in the passenger seat and then everything, everybody else would just be, um, so when we're doing the practice runs, we had four people in the car, but when we were doing the actual autocross event, we only had two people in the car. So you can definitely put, you know, two people in a three series or two people in a two series. So not sure why that was the case, but uh, you probably have some logical reason behind that, but I'm just saying, for somebody who likes to drive cars, uh, a 5 Series autocross is just, wasn't fun to me. But either way, the overall day was fun. You get to meet a lot of people and you get to sit in a lot of cars. So other than that, no complaints. Just BMW, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you put us in a more fun driving car. Just just the thought. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching and this experience. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And yeah, uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.